Welcome to First Air Assault's training video, Understanding Ace, Advanced Combat Environment. Whether a new member to First Air Assault preparing for Fundamental Skill Training Module 1, or a seasoned member brushing up on the Ace mod, or even an ARMA player looking to get more out of one of the best military gaming titles, we hope everyone takes something new away from this video. Considered one of the must-have mods for several generations of ARMA titles, Advanced Combat Environment and the latest version, Ace 3, improves the realism and authenticity of gameplay in ARMA 3. This tutorial also briefly covers the Ace 3 companion mod, Ace X, which is aimed at adding extra and optional modules on top of Ace 3. As well as watching this video, First Air Assault members may want to locate and retain the Ace 3 Quick Reference Guide found in the members only library. Before reviewing the incredible depth Ace 3 brings to Arma 3 and, and how to access the mod in game, let's look at customizing the mod from assigning keys to managing the depth of the realism and authenticity it can bring to your gameplay. First, customizing keybinds. Bohemia Interactive, the studio behind Arma 3, have made it easier than ever to change keys, controllers, and settings either before the game is launched or while playing. Accessing the key bindings for Ace 3 can be done from the main screen in the following manner. Looking at the black bar across the top of the screen, choose Options. Select Controls from the drop-down menu. A box will appear on the screen with keyboard highlighted. Click on Configure Add-ons found at the bottom right of the box. The box is now dedicated to the category of Keyboard. By clicking on the down arrow found on the right hand side of the drop box, the different categories of Ace 3 key bindings are available for review and change by clicking on the desired category. These are Ace Common, Ace Equipment, Ace Gestures, Ace Movement, Ace Scope Adjustment, Ace Vehicles, Ace Weapons, and Ace X. Members of First Air Assault are free to choose which keys control certain actions. However, they should understand customization of keys can lead to difficulties when troubleshooting issues with other players due to the unique key bindings. Also, some of the keys and options under the above categories will only apply to advanced features as well as other features not necessarily used by First Air Assault. If players would like to change key bindings in game, the process is exactly the same. Press the escape button while playing, select controls from the menu located on the bottom left hand of the screen. A box will appear on the screen with keyboard highlighted. Click on configure add-ons found at the bottom right of the box. Let's walk through changing a key. I'm going to go to my ace weapon section, go down, click on the drop box, and I've decided that I want to swap out my rifle using the number three. Double click on select rifle, select three, and hit OK. Now when I'm playing with Ace enabled, whenever I hit 3, I'll automatically swap over to my rifle. Let's say for instance I don't want to use 3 anymore. Very easy to get rid of it. Just double click select rifle, make sure the 3 is highlighted, and click delete. OK, and we're done. One thing to look for when you are altering keys, anything that is in red shows that there is a conflict. In other words, if you click tab, the game's not sure whether you want to track target on your in-law or you want to lock target with a vanilla weapon. This is something you want to work out and see if there's going to be any conflicts while you're playing the game. Looking at customizing Ace 3 itself, the level of realism and authenticity offered by Ace 3 can be adjusted as well. It should be noted, some standards of realism and authenticity are overridden by those set on the first Air Assault server. Even for non-members watching this video, understand some servers will override any customization made to this part of the Ace 3 mod. A great example of this is the difference between using the Ace 3 medical system in the basic or advanced modes. As we'll see later in this video, First Air Assault uses the basic medical system. Regardless of members choosing the advanced medical system in their own preferences and binding keys to use extra medical supplies and actions, when playing on the first Air Assault server, only the basic medical system and related items are accessible. To customize exactly how realistic your Ace 3 mod affects the game, the add-on options need to be accessed. From the main screen, it's done in the following manner. Looking at the black bar across the top of the screen, choose Options. Select Add-on Options from the drop-down menu. 
a box will appear on the screen titled Game Options with Server Highlighted. By clicking on the down arrow found on the right hand side of the drop box, the different categories of the ACE 3 options are available for review and updating simply by clicking on the desired category. The options of Overwrite Clients and Overwrite Mission can be seen on the right of the screen. When used by server admins or mission makers, these options can override any personal choices made by players. There are 39 areas in the ACE 3 mod and 6 in the ASX, all available for adjusting and tweaking. This video won't cover every area, instead reviewing those not overridden completely by the first Air Assault server. Members may want to consider adjusting the following. In the common category, consider changing the icons that give feedback, the progress bar location, the hint background color, and the hint text font color. Under the category of goggles, well, Ace detects when a player is wearing goggles and adds a discoloration to their view. Dust effects from helicopters, explosions, and gunfire will also rest on a player's goggles, which can be wiped off using the keys Control, Shift, and T. Under the category of Interaction Menu, from displaying the cursor to the text size of the menu, the appearance of the Ace 3 interaction menus are incredibly customizable. An important option to consider is Display Interaction Menus as Lists. This determines if the interaction menu is displayed in a radio fashion or a list fashion. Under the category of night vision, players can adjust the look and the brightness of the ACE 3 altered NVGs here. Finally, the view distance limiter. It's a great tool to tweak performance, but if it's not needed or will never be used, this option can be disabled by clicking the top radio button. First Air Assault doesn't use any other mods to adjust view distance, and if a player uses a mod to adjust view distances, don't worry, it still can be used and no, you won't be kicked from the server. Looking at the interaction menus themselves, while well, the interaction menus manage interactions between players, in-game objects, and mods, there are two types of interactions. Self-interaction brought up by the keys control and windows, Interaction with other players, in-game objects, and mods brought up by the Windows key. These menus work in the following fashion. They're branching menus, meaning moving the cursor over an option shows further options. And as discussed earlier, the menus can be shown in a list or radio fashion. And the size of the menu's font can be adjusted. Selecting a menu item is also adjustable. Once selected, it opens the menu related to the item. An important note. When accessing the ACE menu in-game, your character is completely immobilized. Taking a look at the self-interaction options, the following options appear on the initial menu. As mentioned when chosen, a new menu appears on the screen which offers actions related to the initial choice. Added into the ACE menu through an additional mod, Advanced Weapon Mounting, this allows players to attach and remove weapon attachments without having to go into their inventory. If the attachments are on the weapon or in the player's inventory, the items can be removed and added as needed. The ACE method of changing weapon attachments over completing the actions through the in-game inventory screen gives the players the advantage of maintaining situational awareness. Under the Equipment option, you have Attach Items, where users can attach certain throwable items such as chem lights and IR strobes to their body. There's Earplugs. This option allows for the insertion and removal of earplugs. These are essential to prevent hearing damage caused by explosions and high caliber gunfire. As discussed in Fundamental Skills Training Module 1, first air assault helmets that feature headphones automatically enjoy hearing protection, negating the need for earplugs. Under the choice of explosives, you can place explosives. It's used to place a charge or a mine from inventory. A list of all the different explosives held in inventory will be displayed. Once chosen, Ace walks the user through the placement of the explosive using mouse controls. If players would like to trigger the explosive with a clacker, it must be in their inventory when placing down the explosive. The other choice under this category is Detonate. If a remotely triggered explosive has been placed, it will be detonated from this option. A list of the clacker used and the explosives linked to it will appear. Under the category of Gestures, there's a whole range of gestures. Once chosen, will make your character act out that gesture. 
And then there's team management, which allows you to join various teams or actually become a leader of the team you're currently in. And finally, repack magazines. Ace adds magazine repacking functionality to the game. This option allows players to consolidate two or more half-filled magazines of the same type held in their inventory into fewer filled magazines. The time it takes to repack depends on the amount of bullets that require repacking. Looking at the interaction menu, well this can be accessed by looking at an object that can be interacted with and pressing the window key. When a menu item is chosen, a new menu appears on the screen which offers actions related to the initial choice. Weapon is a category and this feature allows players to check other units weapons temperatures. Tap shoulder. By selecting this option, the player being interacted with will have a box appear on the screen stating that their shoulder has been tapped. There's actually an interaction choice. The menu item is named Interaction and it offers the following submenus, Join Group and Pass Magazine. Take Prisoner. Players or AI can be secured using the Take Prisoner option with the Interaction menu. However, the option only appears if cable ties are in the member's inventory. Default loadouts in First Air Assault include several pair of cable ties. Escort Prisoner. Once secured, a prisoner can be escorted, pushed in front of the player that took them prisoner. Load and Unload. Prisoners can be loaded and unloaded in and out of vehicles. And finally, free prisoner. The prisoner is released, arms are brought forward, and the cable ties used to bind the prisoner are gone, removed from inventory. First Air Assault doesn't use all the realism features found in Ace 3. Let's look at the features that are used by the group. Ace simulates back blast effect for AT weapons, wounding or even killing units standing behind the launchers at the moment of firing. The back blast area is a cone-shaped area right behind the rear end of the AT weapon with damage dependent on the distance and angle of the rear of the launcher. The player firing the weapon can also be wounded if standing too close to a wall or an enclosed area when firing the launcher. With ACE enabled, players can also load a variety of objects inside vehicles such as ammo boxes, static weapons, spare tires, and jerry cans. By default, most wheeled vehicles already have a spare tire and jerry can already on board. To load items into a vehicle, simply drag the object to the vehicle. Using the interaction menu, drag on the object in question. Look at the vehicle and use the interaction menu, load to load the box or weapon into the vehicle. Now keep in mind that the capacity of a vehicle is limited and sometimes the items may not fit. And also, some objects are simply too heavy to drag. To unload a vehicle cargo, just use the unload option in the interaction menu of the vehicle and the object will miraculously be dropped near the player. Ace also adds four types of controlled throws to hand grenades. Players can scroll through the four options using the eight key. The four modes are normal, thrown as it would be in vanilla armor. High throw thrown in a high arc, allowing for lobbing grenades over walls. Drop Grenade, which drops the grenade at the player's feet, used for smoke grenades for obvious reasons. And Precise Throw, the grenade is forcibly thrown without an arcing path. 
it's easier to aim the projectile, however, distance is traded for precision. Alternatively, players can use the advanced throwing mode. Advanced throwing adds an alternative method of throwing grenades and other throwable items within the game. Additionally, it adds other features such as cooking, picking up an already thrown grenade, different throw modes, as well as distance and flight arc indicators. There are three throwing modes in advanced throwing, normal, high, and drop. Normal mode is similar in power to vanilla throwing. High mode lobs the grenade higher, for example, throwing over walls and drop mode drops the grenade at your feet or slightly away, for example, dropping smoke or chem lights. Drop modes are indicated by both the throw arc indicator and the actual representation of the grenade in the world. The drop mode has additional functionality which allows you to extend the arm and drop the grenade slightly further away, for example, dropping through windows, which is especially helpful where arm's geometry would simply make it bounce back into your lap. After cooking a grenade, any mode can be used to throw it further or it can simply be held in your hand, at least with smoke grenades, chem lights, and other type of items. This really isn't recommended to be used with frag grenades. A grenade will be thrown where you're currently looking at. Free look, including track IR, is fully supported. However, the further to the side and back you're looking, the lower the throw power will be. To use advanced throwing, simply press Shift G to select a throwable item. If the item needs to be changed for another, simply press Shift G to scroll through the throwable items in the inventory. Press the left mouse button to throw, the middle mouse button to prime or cook what you're holding, and the right mouse button to cancel the throw. The throw will also be canceled when opening any interface, loading, switching weapons, and aiming. When enabled, an arc of colored field circles will indicate the path the grenade will fly through. Here are what the colors mean. Advanced throwing allows you to pick up grenades that have already been thrown. You have to be very close to effectively pick it up. This is useful for rethrowing smoke grenades or repositioning chem lights. Frag grenades can also be thrown back, for example, out of a house. However, doing so is extremely risky. Various settings for the advanced throwing feature can be customized. Using the walkthrough to access ACE 3 settings and next to global toggle to disable advanced throwing, there are settings to hide the throw arc, indicating approximate throw distance and the arc it will fly through, as well as hiding mouse controls. ACE Logistics System adds or changes various aspects to the way Arma handles cargo, maintenance and vehicle refueling. This includes loading ammo boxes and static weapons into vehicles, Refueling vehicles based on realistic values using both jerry cans and fuel vehicles. Repairing vehicles including items for changing wheels and tracks. And dragging and rotating static weapons for more precision placement. ACE 3 includes a map tool and is included in the player's inventory. How to use this invaluable tool is taught in another supplemental training video. However, here is a brief overview. Once in the map screen, press the self-interaction keys of Control and Windows. Look at the bottom left-hand corner of the map. Grab the map tool using the left mouse button. You can now rotate the tool using Alt and left mouse button. It can be used to calculate grid coordinates, distances, and bearings. Players can also gesture on this map using Ace 3. Hold the left mouse button and you'll project a dot visible to other players. Ace adds overheating and weapons jamming. Weapons increase in temperature with sustained fire and lose accuracy the hotter they get. With extreme temperatures, the weapon can become increasingly likely to jam. The Ace mod adds a probability to jam a weapon when firing and jams can be cleared by reloading or using the clear jam key, which is Shift R. Machine guns have the option of swapping out a hot barrel for a new one. This requires a spare barrel to be in the inventory and can be done using the self-interaction menu and the swap barrel option. Weapon temperatures can be checked using the self-interaction menu and can be checked for other players as discussed earlier. ACE offers placeable defenses. Stackable sandbags are able to block bullets, shrapnel, and small explosions. An empty sandbag is required and will need to be filled with dirt before being placed. A concertina wire is also placeable. 
This is a type of barbed wire formed in large coils that can be expanded to form obstacles, and in Ace 3, any vehicle making contact with it gets its tires destroyed. Some first aerosol supply boxes will contain empty sandbags and concertina wire if the group needs to build defenses to hold ground. And static weapon interaction is in ACE, which allows for static weapons to be dragged or rotated using the interaction menu or shortcuts. And finally, wind direction. ACE allows players to determine wind direction and speed by toggling on-screen information on and off using the Shift-K buttons. Wind direction and speed should be known before throwing smoke grenades to allow for optimum coverage. This will be covered in more detail in a future Fundamental Skills Training. ACE-3's basic medical system. This video doesn't review the advanced medical options found in ACE-3 as First Air Assault uses the mod's basic medical system. Found on either the interaction or self-interaction menus, players can treat themselves in a limited fashion or treat others using the basic medical system. ACE-3's basic medical system is quite a bit more complex than ARMA-3's default system, but not really difficult to grasp. When hit, units start to lose blood depending on the severity of their wounds. Once the level of blood falls below a certain threshold, the unit will fall into unconsciousness and eventually die. Units will also fall unconscious when sustaining large amounts of damage all at once or from high amounts of pain. A few points about using ACE-3's basic medical system. When a procedure is chosen, the actions require a set amount of time to complete, shown by a progress bar. If interrupted, the action is considered as incomplete. Some of the actions can't be self-applied or used through the self-interaction menu. Instead, they must be administered by another player. Items such as blood or morphine can only be administered if it's in a player's inventory. Here are the options available in the basic medical system and how they're used. To start medical treatment, many of the sub-menu items are the same whether treating yourself or other players. These are torso. Wounded units are diagnosed through this menu item. There is no option for self-diagnosis. Head, right arm, left arm, right leg, or left leg. Players should note injections can only be administered on the unit's limbs, the left and right arm, as well as the left and right leg. The diagnose option is accessed through the torso menu option. This sub-menu item will bring up a box containing information detailing any injuries, the severity of those injuries, and what treatment has been applied. A method to record the condition of the wounded unit is also included, a triage card. The triage card allows for medics to assign a status of the wounded unit.
With the basic medical system, there are two types of wounds. Yellow, which is small and medium-sized wound, and a single bandage is usually enough. Or red, a large wound. Two or more bandages are usually needed. Speaking of bandages, all bandages have the same effect when using the basic medical system. Morphine removes pain. Epinephrine wakes up the patient. Blood restores blood to the patient. The appropriate amount should be used depending on the situation, whether low or heavy blood loss has occurred. And blood can be carried by the medic in the following amounts. And finally, revive. A unit can be revived after falling unconscious with the following steps. Treat all the wounds. Make sure the patient isn't in pain by using morphine and revive using epinephrine. This completes the supplemental training video from First Air Assault, Understanding ACE, Advanced Combat Environment. Whether a new member watching this video for their Fundamental Skills Training Module 1, a seasoned member refreshing their skill sets, or an armor player wanting more from an incredible game, we hope everyone walks away knowing something new. If you'd like to join First Air Assault, let us know. We would love to hear from you.